All right, thank you all for being here. Um, day one. Good thing about day one, it'll be day two, and it'll be better. So, uh, no, nah, it was uh, – weather was great. Uh, it's good to get back out and on the field with the ball. And uh, first practice with these guys, first practice here, uh, a lot of enthusiasm. I appreciate about this group is we probably got 98 99% of these guys that are really trying to do the right thing and, and that are bought in. We got very few people that aren't. Um, and this bunch likes to practice, which is a, which is a credit to them. And it's like I told them at the end of the practice, we have a starting point. Uh, there were some times today that it wasn't pretty, uh, which is to be expected. You know, they haven't played um, competitive football um, going back to the bowl game. So there were periods that were ugly. There were periods that were really good. thought there were some guys that redshirted last year that, that had some moments, had some moments today. And so we have a starting point. Now it's about getting better. Uh, so we'll come back tomorrow, watch the film. Uh, make corrections, come back on Thursday, do it again. Basically what we have right now is a three-day installation on offense, and we're adding stuff each practice defensively. So um, another practice on Thursday, and then on Saturday we've got our, our annual, what will be our annual, it's our first annual here. It'll be our family day where we invite the, uh, the parents and guardians immediate family of all our players. They'll be here in, on Saturday, and we'll go, we'll go in the stadium for them. So with that, I'll, I'll take questions. You, know, you talked about installation in, in three days for the offense. I mean, I, explain how you do that. I mean, third, 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 or all run plays, and then all No, that. so basically what we do, which is that's, that's a good question. Basically what we do is we split it in thirds, okay? And when I say we'll install our base offense in three days, and that's our base runs, our base screens, base protections, play action concepts, um, quick game, deep. Um, we'll install those in three three days. We try to get our motions in as well. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll come back and add our tags off of that, whether it's run tag, pass tag. And the way we're set up offensively is basically have three installs. So practice four, we'll come back to day one install. All right, practice five back to day two. Does that make sense? So over 15, 15, we get five on each install. That's it? That, oh, I thought, I thought everybody was done. Impressions of the three quarterbacks in their first day? Yeah, I, we had so many balls in the air. That, I'll probably be able to tell you better Thursday when we talk again um, how they did. You know, uh, here's the thing. I think it's hardest in spring ball and the start of fall camp but especially spring ball because they've had a week off. They haven't even thrown going back to probably the Thursday before spring break. I think maybe it's the last time the quarterbacks and receivers threw. Um, so they're all rusty from a timing perspective. It takes a while pass game wise to get some timing down. Um, but I thought all three did some, did some good things. Um, defense made a couple nice plays. Uh, Keith Washington had a pick. Um, which was really a, a nice pick and ran it back for a touchdown. So that was a bright spot. But I thought the quarterbacks, all three did a good, uh, pretty good job. I think uh, going back to Jack, you know, I think he's got some confidence um, where, you know, he probably didn't play as well as he wanted to in the bowl game, but he got used to leading the offense. So I thought he, I thought he handled himself. I uh, thought Austin uh, had command. Uh, which is which is difficult to do when you're with a new team. You know, he's less than three months being here. So I thought he had some command. And I thought Trey Lowe looked improved just based on some of the practice stuff I saw a year ago or last fall. I thought he'd looked improved. Your review of video these first few days, is it as much about effort and getting the right spots as it is right now about clean execution? Yeah, it, I'll be honest with you. These first two days, especially while we're in helmets, it's really about teaching them what our, what our standards are in practice. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same practice schedule, different plays, but the exact same practice schedule on Thursday with the hope is it'll be more efficient. Um, the guys will know what to expect. And I'm talking about from staff, managers, at trainers, everybody. So we're trying – it's about teaching them as much as anything right now is the standards of, standards of practice. And we'll do that through Thursday when we put on the pads on Saturday. Um, hopefully they're more confident in, in what our standards are. Is it harder on them to get used to you and a new staff and a new system? Or I think both. Or harder on you to get used to new players? Yeah, I think both. I think it's equally. You know, that was really – it's like I, I stopped today and I was kind of laughing. Like, I, I'm rusty. <laughs> I, I haven't practiced since uh, – I think it, 
I can't remember if we played on a Friday or Saturday down in Mobile. So we haven't practiced since then. So I'm rusty too. So it's everything's new for the staff as well. And so I, I think it's a, it's a combination. I think it'll take a few days. Neil, you went over a couple position changes a couple weeks ago when we mm -hmm. met with you. Anything new in terms of position or roster changes of a note? Yeah, not, not right now. Not right now. We may have some that we'll release on Thursday. Mm -hmm. then and now. There it's very is. Very different on defense. Um, are the paces jagged where things get picked up quickly and you maybe expect that on defense and it's not as accelerated and you kind of have to balance that? Yeah. Mike, that's a, that's a, that's a good thought. You know, the offensive similarities are there for sure. Um, and it's about, that's probably been as much a, um, on us as a staff to uh, kind of, hey, they used to call this. We called it this. Let's call it. Let's let's use their terminology from a year ago, just because it'll be easier for a couple guys on a couple staff members to change rather than the whole group. Um, defensively, it is. It's totally different. Um, I think Vic's doing a nice job of spoon feeding the install. Like basically, we probably did two coverages today, um, and and I thought our guys did a pretty good job of, of picking it up. And I think a lot of it is, and it, and it goes back to this, is they're excited about practicing. They're hungry to learn. I think they put in some good amount of time. It looks like to me they've put in some good, especially the defense players, put in some good amount of time really studying the teach tapes that our defense staff made. Was there a particular moment where the newness of your location struck you, and, or did you get sort of back into a groove pretty easily? I, it, it's uh, – to be honest, like it's about signals for me. So like, I'll go back, and it'll take me two or three days just to get a flow of signals. So I always tell the guys, like start at spring or fall camp. I'm like, listen, everybody's gonna make mistakes, and I'll probably make the most. So we'll uh, we'll all get better. Yeah, it, it was fun for me. You know, I, I, I told you all this in kind of our intro. My favorite time of the year is spring football. And, and what I mean by that, it's all teaching. It's all teaching. And the reason I got in this profession is to teach and be around guys. You don't have the pressure of, of getting ready for a game. Even though, I mean, don't get me wrong, the game plan piece, playing games, I mean, that's, that's why you're in the business at the end of the day. But the, the teaching part of spring, man, it's really pure. You know, you're seeing, you're seeing guys, like, especially, like, I'll give you an example, like, these red shirt freshmen. Like, like you take the receivers, for example, like Sam James, Bryce Wheaton, and saw them a little bit when they scrimmaged last year on Thursday, just watching a little bit of tape, just kind of get a feel for who they are, and then seeing how much better they look today, more confident, you know, and just watching guys that, that haven't been in a role kind of moving up. And that's the fun part for me. You know, it's uh, there's been so many things that go into this transition, so it's almost like you hit the practice field, like, okay, yeah, this is this is why I'm here. Yeah, it's schematics. No, like no, nah, nah, it, it's it's mostly schematics. Okay. Yeah, using some things we did at Troy and um, and going and and we were able to do that, you know, with the rules that allow you to to watch some video and meet, but you're still so limited. You know, in the winter, you know, you've basically got eight hours with the guys, so you're limited. So what you do is you post them. We've got a system where they can go and they can watch it on their phone or iPad or whatever, and, and it's mostly schematics. Generally speaking, the 2% or however it may be, how do you get those guys on board? I think it's about, yeah, it's really about their, pe their peers. You know, it's about their peers, you know. And what I'm saying is it's, it's all about accountability and – the staff can get you to so so much, but it's got to be about player player led accountability as well. You had a chance to break up special teams assignments yet? Yeah, we do. So it's a, I told you, and you're holding it to me, Keenan. I appreciate that. All right. So Blake Siler will be our he'll be our special teams coordinator, and the way we'll do special teams is we basically have a lead on uh, on each unit. So Blake will be the coordinator, um, and he'll he'll be in charge of the punt team. Um, Al Pogue will be in charge of our pump return unit. Um, Jamal Adai will lead our pump return, and then Chad Scott will lead our kickoff return. And then everybody, all 
all 10 assistants have various roles on special teams. And, you know, it's something we talk about a lot in special teams. And I think that we invest time, we invest energy from using our best players to to all our coaches being actively involved in special teams. But that'll, that'll how we'll, we will attack. Coach Moore will lead the field goal team. And then Coach Leslie will lead the field goal block team. So that's kind of, that's how, from an assignment standpoint, that's how we'll handle special teams. Of all the players that you expected today? All, the, all on the field? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes special teams can be hard to do in the spring. How much do you work on? Work technique. Yeah, so we'll work 25, 30 minutes of special teams every single day. Uh, today we work um, aspects of punt, field goal, field goal block, and punt return. And basically what we'll do is, is um, each phase will have a certain number of days, no fewer than nine or ten of the 15 will work, we'll work each phase. Um, a lot of drills, a lot of technique. You know, to me, we talk about with our players, special teams, technique, and effort. And effort is something that we've got to demand, all right, uh, from coaching to player, we got to demand the effort, and then we got to do a really good job of teaching the technique. And so the goal coming out of spring, special teams-wise, is you want to identify your personnel, hopefully have a two deep on each unit. Um, you want to develop your techniques. So we're obviously teaching techniques right now, but you want to develop them as you go through. And, and, the, and the last thing is you want a fundamental, a basic fundamental understanding of your scheme. You know, obviously a lot of special teams is game plan from week to week, but our base in each phase, we want to have a clear understanding. Uh, not necessarily the players, but what, what areas of the team were you most impressed with today? I thought the, I thought the defensive backs, um, I thought they did a nice job. I talked about Keith Washington have a pick. Uh, Norwood had a couple pass breakups at corner. Um, I thought they did a really good job in the secondary communicating. So just watching it live, that was something. Um, that, that was a group that, that stood out to me. Um, I said I thought the young receivers had they had they had some moments. Special team responsibilities, is that similar to what you did at Troy? Yeah, it's very similar. Okay. Yep, that's how we did it. Yeah, we sure did. We had a we had a coordinator that that coordinated the whole the whole unit, and then we had each each person had a had a uh, responsibility. I know it's still early, but how do you believe the offensive line is adjusting to the staff change and uh, add more construction? Yeah, it, it is super early. You know, it's hard, it's so hard to adjust the or to to really evaluate the O line or D line until you put pads on. You know, so. Uh, from an assignment standpoint, from an energy standpoint, I thought they did a nice job. Um, but we won't know anything about them until probably after Saturday's practice. How much time do you get to spend with the defense? Obviously, offense, you got to focus yeah, so, on that. Yeah, so basically what I do here early through the first three days, I'm with the offense more so than, than I am during a normal, a normal practice. Um, I take the practice script, and I'm intentional about um, – I'm at every single – every single special teams uh, period and, and involved. And then I'm intentional about um, beating it, being with the defense during certain points, uh, for sure. Coach, what are you looking to get from this spring, just in general? Are you looking for this team to develop, for guys to sort of develop as leaders? Anything that you sort of want to take away from this whole spring season? Yeah, I think it's I mean, very similar to what I went through on special teams. You want to. ID the personnel, make sure you get you get the players put in the best position. Um, and what I mean on that, as far as that's schematically and that's actual position, uh, that we put them in the – coming out of spring, we know where to put our personnel in the best best place for them to be successful and the best scheme for them to be successful. Um, we want to improve fundamentally. And, and then we want to have a good base understanding of the scheme on, on offense and defense and special teams like we, like we talked about. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, when did you know that this was your line of work for you? Yeah, so going back, and I think I've probably told this, maybe not in, in a podium setting, but so basically I, uh, I graduated uh, it, it, in December, and I had a – when I graduated from UMass, I came back, had an advertising job. And so I was in advertising for probably six, seven months, um, very average at it at best, honestly. 
um, had an opportunity to come back to my alma mater, which is University of Massachusetts, as a GA there in August. And, and I was working with the offensive line. And within a very short amount of time, I was like, man, this is really what, what I want to do.